as I look back on my resolutions that I made at the start of the year and reflect upon chances to finally find answers to questions that seem so unclear. I thought all my gay friends would be married and I thought we'd avoided Nauru. I thought my broadband cable would finally be able to stream Q&A on iView. But now it's the end of November and our hopes are incredibly low. But don't give up yet, for we must not forget that the year's still got four weeks to go. And they'll say that was the year, the most wonderful year in Australia. When the bickering stopped and the bitterness came to an end. And the way every member woke up in December and chose to step up to the plate. Saying, sorry Australia, the year's been a failure. By Christmas we'll set it all straight. Well, it started when Abbott admitted the carbon tax was worth the cost. Then took up cross-dressing with hopes of impressing the female voters he'd lost. <laughs> then Gillard admitted to lying and Kevin admitted to being a jerk. Then Hockey and Swan started getting it on, so Bob Catter walked backwards from Burke. <laughs> then Peter Slipper revealed that his text were inordinately affected by autocorrect. And the true sentiment that he meant to have said was much more in a scent and concerned parliamentary standards. standards and how they'd been slipping away. And how petty distractions had led to decay. Of the public discussion in which we'd engage. Before shock jocks and slush funds made the front page. And that was the year, the most radical year in Australia. When both parties partied all night at the large Christmas Eve. When they, they put, put 50, 50 slabs, slabs onto Craig Thompson's tab and agreed to get on with the job. <laughs> and Annabelle Crabb cooked the lunch. Bill Shorten turned up with some pies. Tony Abbott provided the punch. So Malcolm and Kevin got, got totally blind. Yeah, yeah that was the year, the, the best bloody year in Australia. Such a coming of age for the nation had never been seen. And the history books will record the year's brilliant conclusion. And how it all then went to shit in 2013. <laughs>